Down in the comments section of the interview that I did with Megan Thomas of Filed Under Faith, somebody asked, why is it suddenly a thing with converts to go to TLM? Well, I can tell you with 100% confidence, mm -hmm. What I can speak to, though, is why we have chosen to go to the traditional Latin Mass. Quick disclaimer before I get into this. The reasons that I'm going to be listing here should only be taken as a reflection of our direct experience, not necessarily indicative of the greater climate. The biggest reason was we were getting tired of hearing heresy from the pulpit. The event that really was the straw that broke the camel's back, there was a priest that was advocating for female priesthood from the pulpit at the Feast of the Assumption. And while as adults we were able to tolerate that because we knew how to cut through it, once the children started getting old enough to understand, we knew that we couldn't stay there for much longer. The second reason is that my wife has a degree in sacred music with a concentration in voice from Franciscan. While she was at Franciscan, she fell in love with the Latin Mass because she was singing in it on a semi-regular basis. In St. Louis, a beautiful and reverent, extraordinary, solemn high mass is celebrated every Sunday at 10.30 a.m. at St. Francis de Sales Oratory. So, naturally, that's where we went. Third, and this is the reason why we've stayed, is because of the canons of the Institute of Christ the King. These guys are on a whole nother level. When we first arrived, the current rector had just showed up as well, and in his first homily addressing the, the faithful of the oratory, I don't remember the rest of the homily, but one line stuck out in particular, and that was, I'm not here so you can be mediocre Catholics. And that just absolutely resonated with us. It was whenever I heard that line that I kind of nudged my wife and I said, we need to go find the registration forms because this is where we're staying. Number four! We have a lot of fun in our community. From the priests, oblates, and candidates who live in the rectory, to the families in the pews, these are some of the closest friends that we've ever had. Not saying community like this doesn't exist in other places or even in every Latin mass community because that's certainly not the case, either one of them. But we found it here and it's awesome. Last, but certainly not least, and I'm a little hesitant to bring this up because I don't want to come off as holier than thou, but the amount of spiritual growth that my family has experienced since switching over to St. Francis de Sales has been just absolutely life-changing. God has really taken more of a prominent role in our lives in ways that I'm not particularly comfortable talking about in this format, but it has been absolutely wonderful. Wow, Kyle, that all sounds amazing. So if I do everything you did, I'm going to have that exact same experience, right? Mm -hmm. 